Welcome to the Kim D. Snyder Show, episode number 156. This is for business owners, leaders, and executives on professional development. I'm going to share with you a story about somebody who couldn't find their email, and I'm going to describe it because you can see both sides. And if you're either one of these sides of the story, you can either act by taking the stuff someone to share or act by sharing this with somebody that needs it. This conversation happened yesterday. In fact, I had a call with a business leader and we were wrapping up our call and I said, Oh, what about this update? And they said, Oh, could you send me that information? I said, I sent it to you a while ago, did a quick search in my email and I couldn't find it, which means it was probably longer than 30 days. And I said, okay, fine. I'll go find it. And then I'll text you. I said, but could you get back to me after I text you right away? Otherwise, by the time you get back to me tomorrow, the next day, then I've got to go back and recap. And he goes, oh, I can never find anything on my email. Well, this is not the first time I've heard this. This has been going on for a year and a half to two years, maybe three years. I said, okay, what's really going on? Why can't you find your email? Like, how difficult is this? I'm thinking in my head, I send it to the same email, respond back. The title is very easy to search on. And they said, well, gosh, I have four to six emails. And I said, okay. And they go, so I have four to six different places to log in. And I said, okay, well, first of all, I would put them all in one place. And I said, second of all, when I text you, you still can't find it. And you're like, because I don't look at my text until tonight at night because um, I have other things that I used to communicate. And I said, okay, well, what else? And they're like, well, could you just put it on Boxer? No, I'm not on Voxer. I don't use Boxer or Voxer for business communication. Slack, no, I don't use that for, you know, external business communication. No. Uh, Facebook Messenger, no, I don't use that for business communication. I'm like, do you use all of those channels? They said, yes. And I said, well, no wonder you can't find crap. And I said, what are you doing with all these channels? And they said, well, what happens is I get so overwhelmed with one channel and I can't filter through. So then I go to another channel and they said, well, yeah, so I got overwhelmed with text. So then I went to Facebook messenger and then I got so many messages that I couldn't find the things that I needed. So I went to boxer and I said, but you went to text because you couldn't find what you needed in email. And they said, yes, I said, well, let's go clean up your email. So first of all, here's the deal in your email. You need to have all of your business emails coming to one tool so that you have a place for it. Now, you know, depending on if it makes sense to have them in separate folders, or just put them into one inbox, but just make sure whatever the tool is that you set it up so that whatever the email it comes in as you respond back, it'll send it back as that one, right? So let's just give a simple example. If you're, maybe it's a sales email, but you want to respond back as a marketing support, make sure that if it comes in a sales email, it responds back as sales. If it comes in at marketing support, it goes back out at marketing support. So that's one thing. Have one tool, that you check all your email in that tool and it's business email make sure it is business email. This is not the one where you get on every mailing list. This is not your personal one. So you might have to create a separate personal one. You might have to unsubscribe to some of those business emails. But if you do that, that means you have one place to go to all your communication and you're really, really clear. You don't have all these other channels. Now, all these other channels might work if you're doing internal communication and, and that'll be another video some other day, but this is, you can't find your email the impact that you're having not only on yourself and your time wasted, but the people you're interacting with and the frustration level of us, as in me, because this is driving me nuts. I had to go back to three or four months to go find the last email because I didn't get a response from him. And it took time for me to go back and reread it and whatever. So now we've wasted two people's time to do this. So you're having downstream effects and frustration levels with people if you can't fix this. Those are really my two tips for, I guess, three tips, right? So use one tool, make sure it's only business email coming in there and no personal email and get rid of all the other channels. And um, this is again for business communication externally to customers. So this person and I are not in the same organization. And so we have to use email to communicate. Now, I don't mind an occasional text, but if you're typing, you know, pages of text, it needs to go to an email. I'm not going to sit there on my phone and look at it. So that's a good rule of thumb if you cannot find an email. For the show notes for this episode, go to kimdsnyder.com slash 156.